whenever I speak with people about soul, I, I always try to acknowledge the fact that this is, this is one of those words that has to be held very lightly because it points toward a mystery. And it's a mystery for which nobody has the true name or the, the, the real story. Every tradition has, I think, a different name for it. The Hasidic Jews call it the spark of the divine in every human being. Uh, Buddhists, I think, call it big self sometimes, or self with a capital S. Thomas Merton called it true self. Um, um, Quakers, I'm a Quaker, and we tend to call it the inner light or the inner teacher. And I think, I think all of these are are synonyms for the same thing. And, and what that thing is, no one really knows. I, the best I can do is to say it's the being in human being. So what, what a person calls it doesn't matter to me, but, but that, that we call it something matters a, a lot. Since the soul itself is a mystery that nobody has a name for, um, I think the closest you can come is with an image or a metaphor. And the metaphor that, that I landed on some time ago, I, I've just found enormously helpful, which, which is this, that, that the soul, as I experience it, is very much like a wild animal. On the one hand, a wild animal has the capacity to survive in, in the deep, dark woods, in, in very difficult places, places where there's hardly anything to eat. A wild animal has strength and, 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 and has resilience and has a kind of wiliness and uh, a, a, a kind of knowing about survival that the, the human soul has on which we depend. I think everybody who's ever been in a really tough situation would say, something inside me allowed me to keep going. Something inside me kept carrying me forward. So, there, so the, the soul has this, this strength, but at the same time, just like a wild animal, the soul is also very shy. And we know that if, if we want to see a wild animal, the last thing we should do is run crashing into the woods, yelling and screaming for it to come out. What we need to do is to walk into the woods quietly, sit at the base of a tree, breathe with the earth for a while, and eventually the thing we seek may put in an appearance. If it does, we may only catch it out of the corner of our eye. But to, to see something so original, so wild, so natural, so elemental, I think for most of us is never to forget it. <laughs>